A successful general manager doesn't just know how to strengthen a roster. They also understand when it's time to move on from certain players. And the Green Bay Packers, under GM Brian Gutekunst, seem to have nailed it. This past off-season, Gutekunst made some significant changes, replacing many veterans in starting positions with young, often rookie players. Now, four weeks into the new season, it's becoming clear that Gutekunst's decision-making was spot-on. Life hasn't been easy for some former Packers players who found new homes this year, especially for these three. 3. Randall Cobb, New York Jets Randall Cobb's move to the New York Jets was motivated by one goal, to help an Aaron Rodgers-led offense win a championship. However, Rodgers' Achilles injury on the fourth snap of the season shattered those hopes. Even without Rodgers, Cobb has struggled to make an impact in the opening four games. Despite playing just over half of the Jets' offensive snaps, he has only three catches for 20 yards. While Cobb offers leadership and mentorship to young Jets receivers, he surely hoped to make a more significant impact on the field. 2. Robert Tonyan, Chicago Bears The Packers upgraded their tight end position by letting Robert Tonyan and Mercedes Lewis walk in free agency. Both veterans signed with the Chicago Bears, while the Packers drafted young talents like Luke Musgrave and Tucker Kraft. Musgrave has already shown Pro Bowl potential. However, Tonyan has struggled to make an impact on his new team, averaging a career-low 8.9 yards per reception. With just four catches for 28 yards and minimal playing time, Tonyan hasn't lived up to expectations. The Packers' decision at tight end this offseason appears to be the correct one. 1. Dean Lowry, Minnesota Vikings The Minnesota Vikings handed Dean Lowry a two-year deal worth $8.5 million, despite his underwhelming performance in 2022. However, it's a move they already seem to regret. Lowry has had a slow start in Minnesota, with eight tackles, no sacks, no QB hits, and no tackles for loss in the first four games. His snap counts have been on a decline, indicating his decreasing impact. In contrast, the Packers saw this coming and opted not to re-sign Lowry. Instead, they moved forward with young players like Devontae Wyatt, Colby Wooden and Carl Brooks. Wyatt and Brooks have already made significant contributions, combining for 4.5 sacks, 5 QB hits and 7 tackles for loss. Brian Gutekunst's decision to replace veteran free agents with young talents this offseason seems to be paying off. The Packers made the right choices and the results are starting to show on the field. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and analysis on the Green Bay Packers season.